July the 8th, 1944, a top secret memo went round a London office. The memo discussed the possible assassination of Hitler and Himmler using agents from the Special Operations Executive, better known as SOE. Established by British Prime Minister Winston Churchill in July 1940, SOE had been ordered to set Europe ablaze. Sometimes referred to as Churchill's secret army, SOE agents were recruited from all walks of life. Following intensive training, the agents became experts in commando warfare, sabotage, handling explosives, and occasionally, assassination. The most notable of these took place on May the 29th, 1942, when two SOE-trained Czech agents threw a bomb at an official car on the outskirts of Prague. Their target was the Nazi overlord of the region, the notoriously cruel SS General Reinhard Heydrich, a close colleague of Himmler. He died from his injuries the following week. And so two years later, SOE launched an even more daring plan, Operation Foxley, the assassination of Hitler and Himmler. With the enthusiastic support of Churchill, SOE came up with a number of scenarios. These included derailing Hitler's train with high explosives, or poisoning the train's water supply. But they were soon dismissed as hopelessly impractical. Eventually, it was decided that the best way to kill Hitler would be by shooting him on one of his regular visits to the Berghof, his Bavarian mountain retreat. SOE planned to parachute snipers into the area surrounding the Burkhoff compound. Acting on information relayed to them by a man on the inside, the snipers, dressed in German army uniforms, would sneak into the compound and lie in wait until Hitler and Himmler appeared in the grounds. The weapon chosen for the attack was a KAR-98K, a standard-issue German infantry rifle fitted with a telescopic sight. And to make sure they got their men, the snipers would use explosive bullets. The plan was submitted to the British War Cabinet in November 1944. While waiting for a decision, SOE came up with yet another proposal. It involved using a top Nazi. In aufrichtiger Kameradschaft begrüßt die Bewegung besonders die Vertreter. Sie sind uns der Garant des Friedens. Rudolf Hess had once been Hitler's deputy. But in 1941, he had fallen into Allied hands after a failed attempt to negotiate peace terms. We're sure you'd like to hear a bit more about that nice Mr. Rudolf Hess. Of course, we haven't been allowed to take any pictures of him, but this is Dungavel Castle, the house of the Duke of Hamilton, on whom Hess intended to call. This is the hospital in Glasgow, where he went first of all, but where he isn't now. And then we have the farmhouse near which he landed, but he isn't there either. This is the plane in which he made his astonishing flight from Nazi Germany to Scotland. But he isn't among the pieces, and you can say what you think about that. In fact, 
There was no mystery surrounding his whereabouts. When he came down by parachute, Hess was picked up almost immediately and placed under close guard in a secluded country house. But now SOE wanted to use Hess in a plan so bizarre it bordered on fantasy. To hypnotize him and spirit him back to Germany. On the assumption that he would be welcomed once more into the Nazi inner circle, Hess would have been programmed to kill Himmler as soon as he got the opportunity. Needless to say, the mad scheme didn't get off the drawing board. By now Churchill had gone off Operation Foxley. He felt that as Hitler was such a bad military commander, he was worth more alive than dead. The last thing anyone wanted at this late stage in the war was Hitler being replaced by someone who actually knew what he was doing. Any idea of killing Himmler was also abandoned. By now the Allies had other plans for him. He was to be put on trial for his life.